Today we look at the Yonex ArcSaber 7 Tour and Play, which are the more budget-oriented models of the recently released ArcSaber 7 range, alongside the ArcSaber 7 Pro. Will they still be in the same performance class such as my Formula 1 analogy I used previously, or are they Formula 2 or Formula 3 performance? It's going to be a problem for you guys, so find out why in this video. In my last video, I reviewed the new Yonex ArcSaber 7 Pro, as well as compared it to the ArcSaber 11 Pro 2. If you've not seen that video, it's worth you checking out it first because this video continues from that one. Link here and in the description below. And in line with Yonex's trickle-down philosophy, Yonex have developed the latest iteration of the ArcSaber 7s in three models. Some of you have asked where is the game model, as Yonex has developed a four-tier product launch previously with their Asterix rackets, so where are they? with the art sabers. So that's a really good question and I have passed this question on. I will let you know when I find out why. Looking at the rackets visually, they all share the same color scheme across all three rackets with the gray and yellow color scheme. I'm not sure if it will show up on your screens well enough after YouTube's compression, but the Pro had the darkest gray out of the three rackets. It was darkest, but best looking, perhaps from the best materials coming with the higher production costs as well. From the sample rackets that I have here, the Tour turned out the lightest in the grey, but these are very very minor. You probably won't even notice them in the store if you don't look close enough. All three rackets certainly have one side of the Arcsaber label on the shaft on the right way up and upside down on the other. Pretty quirky there. In terms of frame design, the Tour racket is designed exactly like the Pro, just with different materials. This means both the Tour and Pro rackets have the enhanced Arcsaber frame, where pocketing booster materials is embedded into the side of the frame alongside similar frame recess profiles. The recess areas can be found from the 10 to 2 o'clock and the 4 and 8 o'clock positions on the tour. The play racket had a standard top half recess frame profile in line with other play racket models across Yonex's range. In terms of measurements, the Pro and Tour rackets have identical frame measurements at 24cm in height and 18.cm in width. The Play has had the same height but slightly wider at 19cm in width. Frame thickness went from 9.8mm on the Pro to 9.9mm on the Tour and finishing off with 10.1mm on the Play. Not bad at all. Oh yes, the Pro racket doesn't have a Pro written on the frame whilst the Tour and Play does. However, I did spot the isometric decal or printing on the tour racket was a little faint around the 12 o'clock region compared to the other two rackets nothing major. There's also slight differences with the shaft materials and construction across all three rackets. The Tour racket has had Yonex's proprietary Rexus shaft, which has also been a consistent feature on all Tour racket thus far, whilst the Play racket sports a standard graphite construction shaft. Both the Pro and Tour rackets have a shaft diameter of 7mm, which Yonex labels as a super slim shaft, while the Play's shaft diameter measures in at 7.2mm. In terms of the support cap on the rackets, both Pro and Tour has the Energy Boost Cap Plus, whilst the Play again is fitted with a standard but comfy cone. As you can see, all three rackets are in the same spec here at 4UG5, but they are displayed differently. The Pro's cap is lasered with its spec in white or just clear laser, whilst the Tour has its spec lasered in black, whilst the Play has a sticker instead. All three rackets also have a wooden handle of 17cm in length. All the measurements on the ArcSaber 7 series rackets are identical to their ArcSaber 11 series cousins in this instance, except the 7s do not have a control assist bumper on the top whilst the 11s do. Additionally, as I've mentioned before, the Pro rackets are made in Japan, Tour made in Taiwan, and Play rackets are made in China. All the ArcSaber 7 rackets will only come in 4U weight class and has a recommended string tension of up to 27 pounds. And during my testing, I strung them with my usual tension of 27 by 29 pounds with Aerobite and the Tour held really well. The Play's frame did flex under tension but had no issues at all too. Muy bien. In my previous video when I reviewed the ArcSaber 11 Pro, Tour and Play, I was extremely impressed with the production quality alongside the playing performance of the rackets there. So much so that I referred them to being in the same class such as Formula 1 instead of dropping a performance tier as we go down the more affordable models. For these ArcSaber 7s, they were even closer in terms of performance and feel. I'm going to be honest and say I had a really hard time differentiating these rackets apart when I played with them blind. 
I've also had to spend the longest time testing these three rackets since I've started my channel to be able to give you guys the details of how I really felt with them. This is Yonex's sixth multi-tier racket release and this by far is the closest performing Tour to Pro racket. I even had it in my notes from my first session that for the first time I couldn't really tell the performance apart. Scary. But after many more hours of testing, I can report the Tour very closely resembles the Pro and is only ever so slightly head lighter. But also, in line with all Rex's shaft rackets, has a slightly more hollow feeling when you're hitting with the racket. In terms of speed, maneuverability and control, they're almost identical to the Pro. Very impressive indeed. If we then look at the play, and I love this racket. I cannot believe Yonex is able to get this play racket to feel so similar to his more expensive cousins here. I did feel that the play had the least amount of power amongst the three, but in terms of the difference in head weight, I will be using a scale out of 100 instead of 10 because of how tiny the differences are. Assuming we have the 7 Pro's head weight classified as 55 out of 100, the Tour would only be a point or two below the Pro and the play is certainly only one point or even half a point out of a hundred below the tour. This is how close they are. The play also had a slightly harder and more solid hitting feeling compared to the Pro. Again, not much of a difference, but enough to mention. I personally prefer this playing feel of the play compared to the Tour, but that's me. I noticed myself really enjoying playing with the play racket, especially when holding the racket as far back as the handle for as much leverage as possible during my shots. The ability to guide the shot around the court was certainly very easy and I had a really good time with the racket. Don't get me wrong, the 7 Pro certainly had the most power, the smoothest swing and the best hitting feel feeling out of the three, but I'm genuinely very impressed with this iteration of Pro, Tour and Play Rackets. This is certainly the closest set it has been. Every single iteration of the Pro, Tour and Play Racket model that Yonex has developed has consistently closed in the gap in terms of playing field and performance. In the very first racket with the trickle-down multi-tier product development, there was a significant noticeable difference in performance and feel, especially when you go down to the more affordable range. But now that we are six generations in, Yonex has refined this art and science of producing these multi-tier products with very small performance gaps. It's making my life very hard making these reviews for you all, but that's a good thing. And well done to Yonex for being true to their word as an innovative company producing quality products. So for the Art Cyber 7 Pro Tour and Play, they are performing 100% in the same class. And using my F1 analogy again, but this time, it's like telling Red Bull, Ferrari and Mercedes apart for this season. One clear leader by far, but it gets really interesting when you look deeper. I suggest you guys try and compare the playing performance of any previous Pro Tour play rackets, then check out these Art Saber 7s. You'll immediately notice what I'm trying to describe here. In terms of recommendation, I again cannot recommend the play racket enough. Incredible value to performance for this racket here. If it's playing so close to its pro cousin and you're looking for something pretty similar in terms of performance, there's no contest, you should just get the play. Yonex has really upped its game for these Art Cyber 7s with such a strong offering and I think you guys will love it. And now I like to see these kind of performances applied to the rest of their racket ranges. Until then, I will see you in the next one.